Hello, my name is Sheila Falls, and I'd like to welcome you to the Gaelic Roots Lunchtime Series at Boston College. Gaelic Roots is sponsored by BC Irish Studies and in collaboration with the Burns Library. Each of the artists will be presenting from their hometown. These performances are pre-recorded to present you with the best quality sound and video. However, the artists will be available live on Facebook to answer any questions or just to say hello. The performance will also be available on the Boston College Burns Library Irish Music Archives YouTube channel, where it will remain after the concert. Now I'd like to introduce Jerry O'Connor from his violin shop in County Louth. He will be presenting The Rose in the Gap. He published this collection of tunes which originate from the Oriel region in South Ulster. Jerry's website will be posted at the end of the presentation for more information about where you can purchase this book. I'd now like to welcome Jerry O'Connor to the Gaelic Roots Lunchtime Series. Good Eve. You're all very welcome to my workshop here in County Loud, in Ravensdale County Loud. And uh, I'm going to give a concert today of music that was collected in this area back over 100 years ago. And I published it in a book called The Rose in the Gap a little while ago. And uh, as you know, a rose in a gap is a place where it shouldn't be. It's at, at risk. So I thought it was an appropriate title for the, 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 the book. And it's also an unusual tune in 4-4 time, which I will play as a march and I'll play as an air beforehand. So I'll be here for the next 45 minutes. Play tunes and songs from the collection, Donlan's collection of dance music from Oriel.
Thank you. The Rose in the Gap, one of the many tunes from the collection of music, the Rose in the Gap collection. And um, there's there's a body of music that was collected in the area in South Ulster, what we would call the Oriel area. Oriel comprising of the counties, parts of the counties of North Louth, South Armagh, East Monaghan, into East Cavan and North Mead. And this will be an area I'll come back to in a little while. Uh, there's over 300 tunes in the full collection. Uh, there was a, the, the collection was partially published in 1909 in the Loud Archaeological Journal. Uh, and I was given a photocopy of this uh, small article, of the small collection I call it. And uh, from that I started working through these tunes and started recording some of them back in the late 80s and early 90s with various bands including Skylark uh, and Lalu and my solo albums and also later on with a, a project called Oriel, music from the area as well. Um, I play tunes for, that I recorded on an album, the music and song of South Ulster. Uh, was, the album was called um, Julia Way the Donkey, and I recorded these tunes with Martin Quinn, an accordion player from South Arma, and Gabby McArdle, a concertina player from uh, County Fermanagh. Uh, three reels, uh, the Cottage in the Grove, uh, the Dandy Reel, and Over the Bridge to Beat It. Three reels from the collection, uh, Cottage in the Grove, the Dandy Reel, followed by the um, Over the Bridge to Beat It. In this collection, um, there are over 220 reels, and uh, the collection was made in an area of South Ulster, where there would have been the plantation of Ulster, happened a lot earlier on. So a lot of music would be influenced by the Scottish music, from, from music from the Scottish collections. And uh, I'll play a tune from it now, a tune called Delve Inside, and uh, I believe there's many more parts than the three parts I play. Um, in this version, but this is one of the tunes in the collection. And I'll follow it then with a well-known tune that's there as well, also Drowsy Maggie, a version of Drowsy Maggie. And then a tune with uh, the title uh, um, Yankee Cabbage. And then we'll play Miss Hutchinson's and I'll hopefully play a reel at the end I record it. The first tune I ever recorded from the collection back in 1991, uh, the New Line to Dublin. And the New Line to Dublin, I believe, was a, was a new road that was being built between um, 
uh, somewhere in South Armagh, I think, and Newton Hamilton down towards uh, Cully Hanna direction. That was the new line. So there's a lot of local references to the tune titles, and we'll come back to that. So um, Highland, Belton side, followed by Four Reels. Right, David, 
Talent Side Highland, followed by uh, Drazi Maggi, then the Yankee Cabbage, uh, Miss Hutchinson's, and uh, finishing off there with the new line to Dublin. Um, as I said, most of the tunes in the collection are reels. I believe there was a, it's a small little book, it's an A5 size of a little book that sits inside a fiddle case, and it sits in UCD in University College Dublin in the Folklore Commission, Folklore Department. And it's, uh, I believe that the book was actually broken in half and that the first section was lost. Uh, in my mother's case in France O'Neill's and all the collectors, what they did was they wrote their jukes and then they wrote their reels and then they wrote their hornpipes and then other tunes as dance, music, as dance musicians would. In this particular collection, it starts on page three of reels, but the index shows there was more reels and uh, which led me to, leads me to believe that there would have been a collection of jigs. There is a one jig rhythm in it that's quite interesting. It's called a drowsy man's hornpipe. It's written in three eight or six eight. And I'll play that for you now. And um, I'm not too sure what's about this tune, although, although it was just included in the hornpipe section, but it's more a, 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 a three eight or six eight. The drowsy man's hornpipe. Drowsy Man's Hornpipe, one of the few tunes not written in 4-4 in this particular collection, as it stands. Uh, Don and the man credit with, uh, with publishing the article, well he did publish the article in 1909, he extrapolated 106 of the nearly 300 tunes and published them and in uh, the LA Jadalet Archaeological Journal at the time. He was um, a well known as a collector of music and song also, and he had access to a phonograph and also to an Edifone's uh, recording machine and access to a car and he was a priest. He was born in South Armagh and uh, he lived, went to college in Maynooth and came out as a priest there in 2000, uh, 1902 and he was a curate in parishes in South Armagh and ended up retiring and um, is buried in Loch Gall in County Armagh. A man of many interests, he was also a mathematician uh, and a physicist and is credited with a lot of but some of his work was at the development of the television and he took out a patent, patent in 1926 to this effect. Um, he was also a classical pianist and he wrote a piece of music called uh, Overture to, to the Pilgrimage to Lourdes and was based on a local air from the area. So a very talented man and we're lucky that he at least preserved this music. I'll continue with a set of tunes that's one of the very first tunes I learned of the collection um, was a tune called uh, the Gypsy Hornpipe. There's a, there's a 221 reels, there's roughly a couple of dozen uh, hornpipes and um, uh, there's song airs as well, 12 or 14 song airs and um, making up a total of 287 tunes in this collection. So here's a little hornpipe and uh, quite a few of the pages of the book 
It's been a well used book and somebody has gone to the trouble of going over every note in every bar virtually uh, with a pen and making sure the ink didn't fade because the inks weren't as, as indelible as they are today. And there was one or two tunes missed and one or two tunes only half written over for whatever reason. Maybe running out of time, running out of ink. And uh, I'll play one, uh, it's a version of Peter Street. There was only one, the, the second half of this tune faded away totally, but I played a standard version, which we all play. Um, my uncle used to play this in the Kaylee Band, which my mother played in, so I, I heard this tune pretty well from my very first days of playing music. Um, I'll still I'll play the Gypsy Hornpipe, a tune called the Blackberry Blossom, and then Peter Street. Gypsy Hornpipe followed by the Blackberry Blossom and then uh, eventually getting into Peter Street there. Um, I'll play a tune that's not in the collection but it has a great connection with the area and would be well known to any of the musicians who were playing music at the time. 
Um, the South Ulster area, the Oriel area, which I'll come back to again, this area of South Armagh, North Loud, East Monaghan, uh, East Cavan, Monaghan and Mead, it was a great body of Gaelic speaking uh, poets that, that thrived at the time from the beginning of the 1700s right up to uh, the 18, early 1800s and they were known as the Oriel poets that sort of re-identified the area. The old Oriel area would have stretched originally right up to County Derry and had a greater uh, landmass but in later years with warlords and uh, different different tensions it eventually became known as the area of, of great Ulster poetry. And outside the Munster poets, the South Ulster poets would be the most highly regarded uh, group of poets um, in present in, in, that we're aware of. And poets like uh, Seamus Don McCorta, Seamus uh, Pedro Dernine, um, Patrick McAlinden, um, Art Bennett, uh, Art McCoy. These would have been all poets that some would have known each other, some wouldn't. Um, and uh, But they, the, there was many other poets. Uh, there was a collector called Henry Morris, Henry Morrissey, and he reckoned there were hundreds of poets writing the Gaelic language at the turn of the 19th century. And up in, in 1829, there was even a, a Bardic convention in Dundalk where all these poets, lesser known and greater, well known poets, all gathered together. The poem I'm going to play, the, the melody to, the poem was written by Pedro Dernin and the music was put to by a man I knew, Pedro Duda, who actually translated the Bible into, into Irish in 1952. And it's a tune called, the melody, well, the poem is called Urchnach Cain Vacantia, and Oduda put the melody of an older local song onto it, and uh, it's called Urchnach Cain Vacantia. The fairy hill of Cain, a little hill outside the dock, a megalithic tomb had been there, and that's where the poets gathered. Urchnach Cain Vacantia, poem by Pedro Dernin and the music put to it by Pedro Oduda. Um, I'll continue now with another Highland, and again I mentioned the, the, the connection with the Ulsters, uh, the Scottish tradition in the music in the area, and this other tune is called Through the Heather. Uh, I'll follow it with them with a, the tune is not in the collection, it's a little jig that I learned from a fiddle player, Peter McArdle. Peter was a local fiddle player, played in Mark's Bar, where actually I was given this collection. Peter had passed away and I was became the resident fiddle player and um, I was there for a couple of years having great learning great tunes but I was given this collection of dance music this little small collection from the Loud Archaeological Society Journal of, of uh, Donlan's Oriel, Oriel Songs and Dances and uh, from that I started working on, on many of the, the collection and recording many of the tunes. Peter was a great fiddle player from uh, the middle of County Loud from Talonstown. He and his brother were 
pretty well known uh, for playing unusual tunes. And Brendan Branagh, the great collector, Dublin collector, came down and recorded Peter back in 1971. Uh, but he only asked him to play his unusual tunes. Time was short. And uh, this is one of the little tunes that Peter played. Uh, I just call it, he just has it down as a little, um, a little single jig. So we start off at a highland into a single jig and then into back into a highland and into a furials, playing um, through the heather, Peter McCardle single jig, uh, down the meadow and the scutcher field at the end. So the tunes we recorded with the band Oregon and uh, they started with the Through the Heather, uh, Peter McCardle's then uh, down the Heather, sorry, down the Meadow and finishing off with the Scutcher's Reel. So I'll play another little tune, an unusual little tune in the book. It's, uh, it was an old dance, a dance that was danced in uh, South Armagh. It was also danced, I believe, talking to Nigel Bully about his book, uh, Handed Down. Uh, he, Nigel published a great collection of dance music from North County Down, which had never been influenced really by the Gaelic League. And uh, it was funny, but the dance tradition and the music tradition uh, exchanged very well. 
and the dances that were danced in North County Down were also dancing in South Armagh. And this was one, Betty Black or Bessie Black, and it was a four-hand dance. Um, Michael Quinn, local South Armagh man I knew, he said he saw it being danced, but he never didn't learn the, the steps. Nigel has the steps actually in his book. So it says June, Betty Black, little, um, little um, dance, I suppose, barn dancey sort of poppy type of tune. And we recorded this with Oriel as well.
Bessie Black then, and I followed it with uh, three reels, um, the left-handed reel, uh, followed by the Lass of Balance Raw, and then the Braze of Invercairn, again to show the, the crossover with the Scottish music, and Braes and um, Invercairns, and so there's a lot, of, a lot of the tunes, I would reckon the good 20% of the tune titles would have been uh, from a Scottish background, like Lord Ladies and uh, Colonels and all that. But uh, I'd say one third of the collection might have been Scottish, one third local, and one third quite uh, quite familiar to, to most, many musicians. The book here is available. Um, I have an attic full of them here. And uh, it's a great resource for local musicians, for any person looking to uh, find out more about the area. There's an, an introduction about the, the tunes and the collector and uh, the, the region in general, placing it within, con within the geographic and historical context and uh, there's a full index in the back post, tune titles and uh, in index, a in number index as well. So I'll finish off now with some more tunes from the typical tunes from the collection. A tune called the Marcus of Hunties. It's also known as the U with the Crooked Horn in this collection. A U with the Crooked Horn has nothing to do with uh, wildlife at all. It's the U with the Crooked Horn was referred to the illegal st distilling of alcohol. And this was the worm that was used. That was the term they used for the Crooked Horn. And then I followed it with a tune called Bouncing Kit. Father Donlin was a wee bit fussy about titles. He didn't like Bouncing Kid, so he, in the smaller collection that he published, he called it Lively Kid. And then I'll finish with a, a tune called Eliza of Roth. Um, most of the tunes I stayed pretty uh, close to, to the notes because everything was written very well, um, note, well note-wise. Uh, this particular tune, uh, the keys sometimes weren't indicated correctly, and in this one I couldn't figure out which way to do it, so I played it as a minor, and, and then I finished it off as a major tune. So thanks again, and uh, hope you enjoyed this little presentation.
Goodbye, guys. Thank you. Salam.